Well, hey, everybody, Paul Newberger coming at you here, president of the Star Group, uh, but also wanted to talk to you today in my role as chairman of the 2019 American Heart Association Heart Walk um, here for the Milwaukee area. And as you've been seeing from these videos, we've got an awful lot of stuff going on, some exciting stuff, not just a number of volunteers, not just a number of Heart Walk teams, but also in revenue generated. And as you may recall, uh, because I probably emblazoned it in your brain by now, our goal is an all time record for this area, 1.75 million dollars. Oh man, I got to wear a back brace just saying that. That's going to be a heavy lift, but I certainly cannot lift this weight on my own. I need very talented people uh, to assist me with this. And as I've said before, I know it's a bold statement, but it's totally true. I've assembled the greatest collection of human beings ever assembled in the history of mankind. Yes, bold statement, but I know it's true. And it's very exciting because we're here on location to meet one such individual. Uh, we are actually, believe it or not, in com former baseball commissioner Bud Selig's conference room. I gotta slow down, my heart rate is going a mile a minute here. He's like a boyhood idol of mine. It's very exciting to be a part of uh, all of this paraphernalia in baseball. But the reason we're here is because one of the members on my executive committee actually works for former commissioner Bud Selig, and I'd like to introduce him to you right now, Mr. Steve Schaefer, the president of Selig Leasing. Good brother, how are you? I'm doing well. Good to see you, boy. Thanks for having us here. This is pretty outstanding. It's a fun place to be, absolutely. It's yeah. Great. I mean, he, he gave me the address, and I came up here, and I'm thinking, boy, am I in Cooperstown, New York, or am I in Milwaukee? <laughs> right, right. Wow. So i got to ask you, what's it like to work around uh, Mr. Selig on a regular basis? What, what kind of an experience must that be? Uh, fantastic. I mean, he's a great gentleman, great business mind, great person, very charitable, just an all-around great person, and he helps guide the company. Yeah. So. Boy, and just think where the Milwaukee area would be without his influence over right. the last couple of decades. Yeah, and man, many people don't know this is our 70th year, 70th year in business. For Selig Leasing. Wow. Yeah. I would so have his to... father started the company. Wow. Yeah, I would have had no idea. So we're talking about Selig Leasing. What What do you guys do? What, what services do you provide? Sure. So we focus on companies that have around 10 vehicles on up to 250 vehicles, and we help them with their acquisition of the vehicles, the leasing, financing, uh, maintenance and fuel, GPS, and then when they need to get rid of them, we help dispose of them for them. And we do that. The vast majority of our customers are in Wisconsin, but we have companies that are headquartered in other states as well, in New York to, to LA and California. Wow, kind of like a one-stop shop, it sounds like. You got it. So if you're watching this video, especially for those of you watching on LinkedIn, I know a lot of you have fleets between 10 and 250 vehicles. Call this knucklehead, you will not regret it. Speaking of uh, hooking people up, how about a Maserati? Can you set me up with one of those maybe for a week? You bet, no problem. Just the, the payment is just one other thing. But you wanted it for free. Well, why not? Why not? Why not? We'll figure well, especially it out. We'll because, figure it out. Yeah, and I'm in the insurance industry, so we'll have to deal with that one as well, too. So <laughs> good to know people in high places, for sure. Uh, speaking of knowing people in high places, uh, tell me a little bit about your, your family. I know one of the things that I admire about you in particular, uh, you're a devoted family man. I know how important that is to you. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you? Uh, my wife, Heather, and I have three lovely daughters, two of which are in college, so you both are in Michigan. And then we have a daughter, a freshman in high school uh, here locally. Yeah, and you shared with me off camera, you and your wife met in an interesting place, did you not? We did. The first time we started talking was in the dark room at the University of Kansas. So that was, uh, she, uh, yeah, it was, it was good. And that opens up so many jokes. It for does. Me. When you look it like does. him, it you does. have to meet in yeah. a dark room. If it was a light room, maybe you wouldn't oh, have been married. Oh wow! <laughs> Thank you. That's great. <laughs> I love this guy. I kid because I kid. But in all seriousness, one of the other things is too. When I was reaching out to individuals to, to serve on the executive committee, Steve, as I told you before, you were right at the top of the list. Uh, we've been friends for a while, um, but until I had asked you to serve on the executive committee, I really had no idea that heart disease and stroke has impacted your family to yep. the extent that it did. I've heard your why. Would you mind sharing with the viewers why you're so passionate about this cause? Certainly, certainly. Uh, my grandmother on my dad's side, uh, she had quadruple bypass uh, heart surgery years ago and that really helped extend her life, which was wonderful. My dad currently has a pacemaker. Um, and then on Heather's side, uh, her mom had a massive stroke this last year and she's surviving and doing well and really recovering well. Her husband also has had a number of strokes. Um, and then recently, tragically, my, my brother-in-law's sister recently passed away a little over a week ago from a stroke. So it's, um, it's in the family, in yeah. the extended family. Yeah, and that's certainly one of the things that I've been amazed by as chairman is just how many people have been impacted by heart disease and stroke. I mean, on social media in particular, people just sending messages talking about you know how their life has been touched by this. And uh, one of the things that I admire about Steve too is Steve's not just sitting back going, I hope somebody does this. I hope somebody gets involved. I hope somebody raises money. You, my friend, are being a part of the change you want to see in the mm -hmm. world, and I really admire you for that. Uh, real quickly, tell me about your thoughts on the Heart Association from an organizational perspective. Yeah, I've been very much impressed uh, from Megan and others on the team 
team. They're very well supported here in Wisconsin. But all the different things they're doing with research, with medical colleges, from even just wellness type efforts within companies, also in the schools and in the community as a whole. So there's a lot of things going on to help, you know, get rid of this disease. It's True. fantastic. It Truly, really for yeah. sure. So so here's what we're going to end on. Steve is stepping up. I'm stepping up. We need you to step up. Think about your family. Think about your friends. Heck, maybe maybe you're one of the blessed ones that hasn't had heart disease or stroke impact your family, but maybe you've got kids. What could happen to them if we don't find a cure once and for all? At the bottom of the screen here, you're going to see all of our contact information. Now, when you work for former Commissioner Bud Seeley, you probably want to call this guy before you call me. <laughs> but call Steve. Email Steve. Do the same for me. If you want to make a donation, let us know. If you want to walk in on September 21st for our Heart Walk, do that. If you want to volunteer, do that. But please make sure that you do something, and we'd really appreciate it. Speaking of appreciate it, I appreciate you, my friend. A lot of fun. Thanks, Paul. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye now.